Okay, let's get this party started. First question is, how was the feedback and did anyone say anything crazy? The feedback was cool. It was great. The majority of it was positive, I will say that. And it was just good being able to connect in a different way and actually talk about something that means something to me that some people may not have been aware of or may not have known. It was just cool. It was really, it was really cool to be able to to connect i mean there was some negatives there i'm not gonna lie people some people talk shit but other than that it was it was pretty decent and i'm happy about it i'm glad you guys asked me the question when you did because <laughs> i probably would have never brought that 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 topic up so next question what did you learn from this experience even though it wasn't planned probably i would say that Probably perception is difficult to shift because people, I find that people are often blinded by the simple rationale of things. And so, and it's not always their fault. Sometimes it's, it's the environment and their surroundings that they're, that they're around, you know, that they're raised in. But people, if people don't want to accept something that you're saying that is meaningful to them or that may uh, hurt them, People automatically, you know, or some people automatically shut off all the the uh, open minded capacity that they have. And so that sucks, you know, but I also have learned that some people are willing to listen. And it was really cool just being able to connect with people that that I know that I even, that I know and who are friends of mine that I may not have ever shared this thing, this topic with. And, you know, just hearing them be like, yo, like sock man, I wish you would have told me or them kind of rethinking and recounting things that maybe they have said or done that may have been a little bit offensive, but I didn't speak in the moment. So to them, they didn't know any different and they just thought the joke was a joke. So yeah, I, I, I just learned to, sometimes you have to, you have to go ahead and say what's on your mind and just be honest about that, even though it may make you feel uncomfortable. Next question. What surprised you from others or anyone? You know, what surprised me was getting allies out of this. I talked to people that I don't even know. And, you know, obviously the video got a little traction, you know, nothing crazy, but people that I didn't know hit me up. I've never met, never talked to. I got hit up by mothers, you know, sisters, and people who just are, I don't know, maybe concerned about what somebody they know or a man that they know who is short will have to deal with in life. And we're just appreciative that I actually spoke up about that topic. And I think that's cool. I think that I, like, I didn't have a me, I didn't have a, I didn't have someone who was kind of like a, uh, a short man who probably did everything I wanted to do. All the men in my life were generally average or tall height. And you know, my dad, he was short, but he wasn't like my height. So it's just, it's cool to, to have built some allies in this. And I'm, I'm really, I'm really appreciative that people took, people took an opportunity to listen to you know, what I had to say. So let's see, next question. Who wrote this? Which one of y'all wrote this? Who wrote? So the question is, do you even know the average male height? Probably don't think I know. But actually, we have to get a little bit more specific than that. So the question was, do you even know the average male height? Male height for who? Humans? But I actually do know. Oh, you, scratch that. You have to get a little bit more detail than that. You have to get down to the country because, you know, there's these things that happen throughout time, like evolution, society and cultural reconstruction, oppression mental uh, instability of thinking that a certain look looks away. To answer your question, I do know. The average height, I, I, at least I can speak for the average height in in America or the United States is 5'9 for a guy, for, for a man, a, a male human. And I think just like over time, like holistically in the world, the average height for a man or male human is five, six, five, seven. So it's not even, it's crazy that a lot of women are 
pursue this certain type of guy and the average height isn't even that six foot tall that's that six foot tall pursuit that that a lot of people try to have even more so in society we we build a lot of things off of what's not average so the average height is not even six feet but if you look at any fashion house any runway shows the sample sizes are always six two six three guys slender and it's like yo that's not even that's not even average build of anyone on earth but and and then we cater to we cater to these things like we'll cater to big and tall right that's not the average women they get curvy they get petite they have their their regular average Men, we don't get that petite shit. We don't get any of that. It's, it's crazy. We 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 set these parameters on things that are simply not average in life for men. Next question. Oh, there was a follow up. Do you even know the average height for a female? Which one of y'all was that? Like, wh who asked this question? Somebody gotta tell me. All right. Well, the average height for a female is five three. So. <laughs> Women aren't even average of what it is that they shit on. That makes sense. And not even close to it, not even close to the average male height, but even the average male height isn't good enough. <sighs> Sucks, man. But we staying positive for this here uh, interview. Let's see, next question. The first video you called it body or physical anxiety. Can you elaborate on that? Yeah, I, I, I use the term body anxiety because for any anxiety, it's uncomfortable. And I think that, or at least my belief is that any physical trait that a person has can cause you anxiety, period. Even if it's a good trait, like I know people who are like fit, like super fit, and they feel insecure about themselves and equally I know people who are by medical professions uh, standards are overweight and they feel the same insecurity as this guy who's like in the gym working out hardcore. So I see it as an anxiety because it's something that you will have to deal with for the rest of your life. And it's something that you have to learn how to deal with and you have to get over with respect to being able to beat it mentally. And so, yeah, it's an anxiety. It's an anxiety I've always had. And I'm, I mean, I can admit that. I just hope other people can admit to those certain things because we, nobody's perfect. There's no such perfection of body or face. So yeah, come to agreements with that. It's... Why do you believe people have difficulty accepting and that speaking negative on short men is body shaming? Yo, honestly, there's two things of why I believe that. The way you were raised, somebody has taught you that that's okay. And fucking social media. I see tutorials on videos of how to make yourself look taller all the time. I get it, you want your picture to look good and, and I like the aesthetics of certain pictures. But I'm not finna sit here and like bust my ass trying to look tall. I'm not tall. Right. You're not tall. So don't give me this fake facade of like something so simple. If people don't like you for that because you got you have to admit at some point people are going to see you in person. Whether or not it's in business or social or you're trying to get people to like you, they're going to know the truth. So social media is it, it makes it hard for people to accept that calling a short guy short and joking and laughing about it. It makes it hard for them to accept that that's body shaming when in fact it is. Like I said in the first video, we do this for every other body type. We will, uh, we will attribute body shaming to every other body type except this one thing. And it's such a simple thing. Like stop shitting on men for being short. Stop shitting on men for literally being born. Cause that's what you're doing. You are telling me that I suck because I was actually birthed into this world. And I'm telling you now, my mom ain't having that shit. My family not having that shit. My existence is phenomenal to them. So for you to think that 
because I was born with my genetic code that I'm somehow less than, it's crazy. Question, have you called anyone out yet? F yes, I called a bunch of people out, especially in my DMs. Everybody that hit me up with some negative shit, I was like, I asked them like a general general question, especially the females. Like female, some woman hit me up and said, you're being a baby, like you're a man, like be a man and this and that, and your height. Yeah, it is funny. It's funny because it's not normal. <laughs> So I look at this, this, this woman and she's not that tall. So I can only assume I said, can I ask you a question? I said, cause I want to, I want to, I want to hear you. I want to hear you out. And she was like, what? I said, how tall? I said, do you have any brothers? She said, yeah. I said, is your father around or is he alive at least? She said, yeah. I said, how tall is your dad? I said, how's your dad? She ain't answered me. So I did my own detective work. This guy can't be no more than like five, seven. So you're shitting on me. Stranger but loving other people because they're close to you. Don't make sense. You can have a preference, people. You can like and be attracted to a certain thing. You don't like other things. It doesn't require you to talk bad and shit on them. All right? So stop it. Okay? Read a DM that you received. Um, actually, I don't even have my phone, but I know this one because this one got to me. A feminist group, a page responded to me in DM and literally told me, well, no, let me, let me be honest. Somebody put po uh, a feminist page posted something and it said, all body types are beautiful. And then I responded. I wasn't thinking they were going to respond to me because they got thousands of comments. I responded and said, absolutely right. I wish that was the same thing for short men. They hit me up in DM and basically said, this post wasn't about you. What? Mind you, this post was a female holding up this, this, this saying, and she was like, I guess you would say, not skinny. And I go, I responded, I said, this wasn't about me, then who was it about? And she said, women. And I said, why are women the only people that should be accepted for who they are with respect to their body physically? She responded, or I guess it was she, she responded and said, because we have to deal with it more and consistently. And I said, I can appreciate it and I can understand that. But why are you casting me out and keeping me out of this conversation? Because I don't understand that. And she basically, she, she was responding with, with questions and not answers. And it was a waste of time or he. It just got me to thinking that the immediate defense mechanism was to say, yeah, 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 but you're not. You're not as, you're not as affected by this. And I'm just like, yo, this is crazy to me. I had a general statement and general concern and you excluded me from the entire topic of being body shamed while body shaming me. And you're supposed to be body positive. Let me share a secret with the feminist groups out there. There is no feminist progression without male allies. You can't be a feminist and hate men. It's literally against what it's about. It's not about, it's not, it's not all about men. It's not, but it's not all about women too. Everything it can't be about one or the other. We have to be equally partners in the progressive movement or let me not even progressive in the, in the movement of being positive for each other. Can we take a break? Can we? I'm trying to get heated. All right. It's, Personal question? Yeah, I got way more of these than... All right, let's go. First personal question. What type of person do you like? What are you interested in? What am I interested in? I think I know what you're saying, but okay. Well, assuming you mean what am I attracted to? My sense of beauty has changed drastically in, I don't know, five years, maybe shorter than that. But... I'm really attracted to a person who is vulnerable with their feelings. I'm attracted to a person who is open to allowing like somebody to actually care about them and like them to the point of you say you want all these things and then you like don't let people do it or you run away from it. I don't like people like that. I, I just really don't like people like that. My preference is women. I, I don't really, I don't know if I have a body type, honestly, but 
I do like physical attraction. There are some things that I just love about women. I like differences. I'm a, I guess I like, I like a bold, a bold look. So a bold look could be, it could go a lot of ways. It's not convent, it's not conventional, pretty, pretty. It's the slightest thing can get me going. Like I could see one minor imperfection on a woman and I'll be like, she's, she's so beautiful. It could be, I can see like a birthmark on a, on a female's face and I will, in that moment go, I'm gonna marry that woman. Or I could see a scar, I could see a curvature. I, it's just so many things I could talk about that attract me to women. It's funny, growing up I think that that wasn't cool, but now it's being woke and a lot of people tend to, to share my, my interests. But I do like physical attraction. Beauty for me is more than just that. And I, I like somebody who's, who's who's vulnerable about what they want and, and willing to allow people to, to give it to them. So there you have it. Have you ever dated someone taller than you? Fuck yeah. I mean, literally, quite literally, probably most people I've dated have been taller than me. I had a pro you know what's crazy? I never had a problem dating tall, taller women, honestly. But never, never had a problem dating taller women. So for all this shit I'm talking now, <laughs> I guess we could excuse that part of me. I'm fighting for other people, but yeah, I don't, I've, I've dated people taller than me. Next question, how tall are your parents? My mom is short. My mom is like a little bit shorter than me. And then my dad is, or he was like, my dad was like, I remember looking at my dad's license and it said five, seven. I don't believe that ever. Something like that. Do you really wear white tees all the time? All the time. Either, a, I wear white shirts in social public settings all the time. If I'm running to like the store, actually, let me not lie. If I run to the store, I'm putting on a white tee. But, um, but yeah, in, in any social setting, I, I, I do. And that's just me. And there was a follow up question. Is it hard dating with that? Do people think you're like, do people think you're, what is this word? Blase? Blase? Blase. Don't judge me, but it is, it's like a female thing because I don't know what that is. Um, honestly, I don't even care at this point. I don't care if somebody thinks that, that it's weird. And I don't think women notice it until I actually say it. And I try to say it pretty early on so they can just get it in their mind and not think that I'm like cramping their style. It'd be hard for me to cramp your style. Maybe cramping my style. <laughs> Tell them. And so I, I don't be, I don't care, but I think my style is unique to me. And so I think I have style and I pull off the white tee, you know, pretty decently. And so it, you, it gets overlooked a lot because I'm, I'm doing other things, but other things to, to take away from the fact that this is all I wear. But yeah, white tee only. Hashtag white tee only. Any tips in general that doesn't have to be about height? So any tips in general to men that doesn't have to be about height? I'm assuming you mean for like personal things. Um, I'm gonna give you the hack to life. This is the hack to life. Men, skincare, and water, your best friends. I'm big on that shit. I drink water all day. And I tend to my skin all day. Yo, there was this one, all right, this TMI, but I was talking to somebody about one night stands, which I don't care about. I'm, I mean, teach his own. I don't judge people. And somebody was like, yo, what do you think about one night stands? And I said, they cool. And they were like, no, but what about the, like the, uh, what is it? The, um, the, uh, the morning after and the walk of shame. And I said, yo, you ain't never got to worry about me doing a walk of shame. I care about my night skin routine way too much to be fucking it up on staying at your house <laughs> and waking up feeling fucking yicky and icky. So I'm down with the one night stand, but the morning after shit, it's difficult for me to make that happen without having some anxiety. Cause I'm like, yo, you ain't fucking up my, my night, my nighttime skin routine. I got to keep this shit intact. So yeah. What's some misconception some misconceptions outside people have about you? 
Mm. People think I'm positive all the time, and that's just not the case. Most of the time, I am progressively telling myself to be positive. People never can figure out my age. Never. My mom and my dad gave me these Benjamin Button jeans. And I honestly feel like the older, no lie, I feel like the older I get, the better I feel, the better I look, the better, more positive I am, the more confidence I have. So people never guess my age. I'm at an age where it's, it's so tough to, to like date because I'm at an age where there's no woman my age that's single or in the right mind frame of, of being single. Every young girl wants to talk to me and then every older woman wants to talk to me. And so there's no middle ground for me right now. And I, th I think that I just finally accepted that. And there's pros and cons to both of them, obviously. <laughs> but yeah, uh, that was a cool question. I got off topic. I don't know. Well, uh, but actually, next question. That was perfect. Uh, status. What's your what's my marital status? Is that what you're asking? Single or what? Is what you said. I ain't album. <laughs> Any final thoughts? That's the last question. You know what? I'm looking at this question, trying to like facilitate in my mind how I'm, how to say this or how to answer this. Give me a second. I think that people have to be more open-minded about their faults as people and more vulnerable about their imperfections and willing to accept those. I think far too often we look at imperfections like all physical and that's not the case. I would say that the majority of your imperfections are definitely mental and it took me a long time to get to a place of acceptance with that. And I'm I, I, honestly, I'm just now at a position where I'm pretty deep, pretty good at it. But with that came a lot of. I just don't care. Like I just don't care about people who aren't willing to be honest about who they are as a person. I'm cool with you lying about other shit. Honestly, I don't care. But when it comes about that one on one personal connection, friendship, partnership, you got to be vulnerable with 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 people you care about. And I think that with body shaming, we have to be open that there's all different sorts of forms of it. And you can't support one piece of a universal topic and then shit on or negate the other parts of this universal topic. And so body shaming is a universal topic. Being a short man in, in the society of uh, judgment is part of that shaming and I just really want women to think about that when they make jokes about men when they laugh about men and just stop for a second and go yo what is an insecurity I have consider the fact that that woman is still probably shorter than this man that she's joking about and just like just, just step back and be open-minded to what you like. You, you honestly, I can't count how many, you never know what you like until you experience it. There's things that I, I said I would never, like I'd never date a woman like this or I'd never date a girl like that. And you, you just don't know, you have to be open. We have to break all these barriers that are in front of us. We have to break culture barriers. We have to break racial barriers. I truly believe that we were not put on this planet to only stay with one race. That's a big topic that I know gets a lot of attention. I've struggled with judgment over me dating outside of my own race for as long as I can remember. And I just don't think that we, it makes no sense to assume that we can't co-exist and co-habitat and co-love. Like we gotta co-love more, you know? And when I see differences in people in relationships, different cultures and different ethnicities, it it really makes me happy because in my mind I'm thinking, wow, like this is this is a beautiful uncommon. That's how evolution happens more, and that's how we progress more, and that's how we break down the stigmas more. And so 
yeah, I just hope people take away from this experience and whatever else it could have offered you something positive. I want to say thank you to everybody who fucked with me on this. The people that hit me up. I had so many friends that I've known for my entire life hit me up. Yo, sock. I, I didn't even know. I apologize if I ever disrespected you, you know, and just that source of gratitude is and, and it's just man it was great until then thanks for having me back thanks for opening up this conversation for me i hope that i'm gonna see actually i'm gonna see you in a minute because we're gonna go like have some drinks but hopefully we can keep this friendship going and i'll be able to come share some more with you guys soon